Okay, we've got Jason's Porsche out on the 112 right now. We're gonna go over some of the features again, showing you kind of a live demonstration while driving the car, how uh, all the dash features still work, some boost control as well as cruise control. All right, so first thing first, if you've got your foot on the brake and you push the uh, cruise control back into the set and excel position, as you can see, it'll show you what boost position you're in on both the dash and on the display there. If you hold it in long enough, it'll cycle up. So see it goes to four, five, and it'll reset. Now when you cycle the key, it'll go back to wherever your base was. My base right now is one. So if I turn the car off, and go in the store or whatever, come back out, I want to put it back to two or three. I'm just going to hit that button and you'll see a display there. You check it momentarily and go to the two. Now if I pull down, I'm going to show where my current rev limiter is set to. Right now it's at 7,500 RPM. So if I push the clutch and engage the two-step, it'll show where that launch is, which right now, depending on how much throttle I'm giving it, it's at you know, 1,800, and as I give it more throttle, it raises it. So there's your variable launch control. This light comes on, I have that set to come on at four pounds, so when it's making four pounds of boost, the light comes on. Okay, so that's the boost control, how to make those adjustments. Um, you can also pull the stock towards you for resume when cruise control is not active and it will go into scramble boost mode which is also programmable. So once you activate the cruise control, like if I'm driving, you see the factory light will come on saying that it's active. So let's go do that right now. So as you can see with the 112 and all the dash controls working and everything like that, you don't have to sacrifice an ounce of any of the stock drivability or controls and still have all the performance right at the touch of your fingers. We're going to demonstrate one of your guys' favorite features, which is the rolling anti-lag. So on Jason's car, he has it set up to trigger when he pulls the e-brake just slightly. So just like the 128, it works exactly the same. So we're gonna flip around here and show you guys a quick demonstration of that functioning on the 112 ECU. So Jason will trigger it with the e-brake. As you can hear, starts to move loose. And off we go. All right, so we just got back from doing the rolling anti-lag test, and as you can see, we have a check engine light, and I'll let Jason explain why. So we're controlling all of this as well. So I have mine set up to, to trigger a light anytime there's any kind of fuel pressure variance. So when we did it, uh, I have the, right, the RPM that I did it at, I get one pump turning on as the other one's staging. So we get just enough of a variance in there to trigger that light. So that one's kind of cool. So we can... Uh, control that as well. The stability management also continues to work. You can turn that on or off. Uh, we're controlling the radiator fan all three stages, low, medium, and high, and that's all calibratable as well. All right, so as you can see, just like the 128 with the safety features that everybody loves, we've implemented some of those and more into the 112, and we're happy to hear what you guys think.
All right, so right now we've engaged valet mode one. So if you're out to a nice dinner or something like that and you want to valet the car, but you're worried about the valet guys beating on it a little bit too hard, go ahead and engage your valet mode, which we have valet mode one engaged right now, and I'll let Jason explain that to you. Okay, so valet mode one triggers an ultimate throttle map. So no matter how much throttle you ask for, you're only going to get so much. Now I have mine set up so the car will drive seemingly normal, but won't allow it to go into boost. So I'm going to floor the car. And if we watch boost, that's it. So 4,000 RPM is all we're getting. How's pin? So, and you also notice we're controlling the reduced power, uh, the reduced engine power light on the dash when we're in valet mode as well. So that's valet mode one. These are calibratable and you can set them up in the fault manager, but you can also set up your valet mode to limit speed, limit RPM, uh, those kinds of things. If you've got you know, a wife that drives a car or a buddy that you know needs to borrow the car, or like Carell said, you drop her off at a valet for dinner, whatever you gotta do. This is a great mechanic has to drive the car to check an alignment. He can drive it and it'll drive normal, get out of the way if he's got to get, if he pulls out and the car's coming up behind him, but it won't give him any real power. And that way they can do what they gotta do and they can't hurt the car, they can't go out and beat on it. 